Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel where we get nerdy. So today I am filming August's uh, Tabrinko and another day I will film July's wrap up. But I just realized that we're almost at the end of August and I haven't done it yet. So up on the board, we have our prompts. And I did a random dice generator because I still haven't found my die. Um, and I got five. So we are doing five coin drops this month. So let's see how it goes. Of course, it's going to get stuck. All right. I got it out. Drop one, take two. We have... Super Junior prompt. Super Junior being a K-pop group. And we have our prompt list. So let's see. I'm going to start with the order I have them written down just because it's easiest. Um, and the first one we have is Itok, who is the leader of Super Junior. And his prompt is a book with a white cover or white in the title because white is his favorite color. So, let me go find a book, and I'll be right back. Okay, a book with white on the cover or white in the title, and I'm stretching, I know, but we have Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. This is the second book in the um, duology. Uh, in July, we read the first book, now we got the second book, and uh, I don't want to read the synopsis because it will spoil what happens in the uh, first book. So, in this we are following a pirate named Alosa, and Alosa's father is the Pirate King, and there's a quest to find missing map pieces in order to find the like holy grail of treasure. So that will be this month's prompt for a Super Junior prompt. So I'm going to take our prompt card and just stick it right in here so I don't forget. And I got tired of almost dropping the, um, the prompts, so I have them in a bowl in front of me. And we are just grabbing... Come on, fingers. All right, so YA, so a young adult book, which would be easy because that's pretty much what I have. There. And then our penny. So drop number two. <laughs> a fantasy book fantasy. Let's see what we have. Okay, so I know I have not shown this book in a haul yet, but it's a fantasy that I have been really anticipating once I realized what it was about, and that is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. Uh, let's see, so 18-year-old Gu Mi Young has a secret. She's a Gu Mi Ho, a nine-tailed fox who must consume the life force of men every full moon or die herself her fearful ever fearful of becoming more of a monster me young kills only when she has to and even then only those guilty of horrific crimes inspired by both k-dramas and korean folklore wicked fox is an enthralling and romantic urban fantasy set in the streets of seoul so if you know me <laughs> you know um that is right up my alley so yet again we'll stick our prompt right inside it and set it over here so that was drop number two let's grab our penny and let's see keep grabbing ones that I know I don't have a book that matches it. Just my luck. Right? Let's 
So we have a book that starts with the first letter of my first name. So it would be an N. I, oh shoot, I don't know if I have any books that begin with N. We're gonna find out. Oh, thank goodness. So we have YA. Let's go find a book. All right, so I think this is marketed as YA. At least a good ch chunk it is. This is Chemistry by Jody Lom. This is a Hunchback of Notre Dame retelling, um, but from Claude Frollo's perspective. So this is the bad guy's perspective. Um, you don't want to read this book. I'm warning you. This isn't a heartwarming boy meets girl high school romance. I wish it were. God, do I ever. No. If you read this, you're going to be angry with me. Mostly. You'll probably yell at me if you're the type of person that yells at books. You'll tell me not to be stupid, but I won't listen. I'll be exactly as stupid as I need to destroy everything I love because that's who I am. A walking, talking tragedy. That's who I've always been. But if you're determined to read, and despite of my warning, I may as well introduce myself. My name is Claude Frollo. I'm 19 going on 90. And this is my story. It isn't pretty, but it's honest. And it's the only story I have left to tell. So, we'll stick this right in here. <sighs> Three down. Two to go. Let's grab our penny. If I can get it out. And, oh, geez. Let's go with Sun Pick. So, one of my children get to pick the book. What I'll do is I'll give them three options and say, pick one. So, coin drop number four. Cousin pick. Cousin pick. All right, hold on. Let me get some, get a couple books and lay them out and send a Snapchat to my cousin. All right, I'm filming my Tabrinko for August and the drop was a cousin pick. Lucky you. I chose you to pick my book. So these are your options. These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Graceling by Kristen Kashur. Or Valkyrie by Katie O. Hearn. We're gonna they, that's what we're gonna say. Okay, so I'm sorry if the camera angle has changed. Um I sent a Snapchat to actually three of my cousins um, because I sent one to one of them and they didn't answer and I so I just sent it to a couple other and the one I sent the second person I sent it to responded and that was my cousin Anna Banana thank you Anna I love you and she chose these violent delights by Chloe Gong um, as we all know this is a 1920s Shanghai retelling of Romeo and Juliet. And, all right. So, let's see if Anna has good choice. I sent, um, as you saw, um, I insert between the first and this clip. There's this clip of the Snapchat that was sent. So, literally only got the cover. So this is getting to be an interesting drop. And sorry for the crying cat. That is Niffler. He wants to go outside, but it's raining. So Niff's not going outside. Let's see.
All right, so our next prompt to go on the board will be an exo prompt. So let's see how many K-pop prompts we can get on the board, apparently. Um, so this is our fifth and final drop. A sun pick. Okay. This will be interesting. All right. So I had Nikolai come out of his room, which he says hello to everyone. Um, between Tweet Cute by Emma Lord, um, As Old as Time by Liz Braswell, and The Magnolia Sword by Sherry Thomas, he chose As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. This is a Disney twisted tale retelling, and it's the idea that Belle's mother cursed the beast. So, it will be interesting. So, we have five books for this month. A lot more doable than past months. So, let's see if we are successful. And in a few days, when it's near the end of the month, I will upload our July wrap up and see if we're successful. So remember until next time you are loved and you are valid.